Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Now, this video is something I said I'd do when we went through the February money making video, and it's regarding the dazzling whirly gigs near the Het Oasis. Now, whirly gigs are a hunter method which is very, very good and has been known to create like huge profits. It's relating to a lot of the powders which released probably a couple years ago into the game, and one in particular powder has always been very good, and that is the dazzling whirly gigs and penance powder. Now, the wiki currently quotes is 170 mil profit per hour, which for a skilling method is basically unheard of. Unless it was something on release, you don't generally get rates of profit that high. So what I wanted to do, because it's been a couple of months since we actually sort of highlighted that as a money making method, was to pay a visit and see if the wiki is correct and it really is that much profit per hour. So to be able to lure the whirly gigs into being attracted to your spot, you need to have your flowers. Now, the reason whirly gigs and especially dazzling whirly gigs are kind of expensive to do at a point is because certain flowers are more expensive than others. Now, golden roses are really the standout. The others are nowhere near as expensive as this, but you're currently looking for golden roses 637k each. Now, the reason why I do quote quite a lot of times check your margins is because if you were to instant buy these, it would have been 882k. So, for a little bit longer of a wait, um, I managed to save myself the best part of 150k per rose, which will only end up being more profit in our pouch. So a few things before we go to whirly gigs. Now, you're going to have to have a couple of unlocks. One is the trapper outfit. Now, the reason the trapper outfit is very much essential is because it provides 10% more loot. And if we're dealing with something at 600k a pop, we need to make sure that uh, we're getting as much loot as possible. Not only that, you're going to have to start doing some of the hunting, which we'll go over to the Oasis now and sort of show you. Now, whirly gigs are a completely different way of hunting. It's very similar, in my opinion, to falconry, but it's just more of a desert sort of theme. Basically, we're going to control a crocodile and basically direct the crocodile to go and attack the whirly gigs. So coming here, this is the spot I normally do. So all these whirly gigs at a minute, because they're not being attracted by any form of flower, apart from that one there, because we've got a couple of uh, roses in the basket, which I didn't realize. Let's see how many we've got. Brilliant. So we've got one rose, which will mean we have 100 roses to go through. So basically, by putting the extra roses into the box, it gives us a chance to attract these whirly gigs. Now, if there was no flowers in your basket, you will only get this sort of plain standard whirly gigs, which is what you'll start hunting to upgrade your crocodile. So to be able to get to the point where these are very worthwhile, you need to do some upgrades with Dundee. And as you can see from Dundee's upgrades, the probably best point you want to start doing it is from 2.5k. And the reason that's and the reason you want 2.5k scarabs caught or whirly gigs caught before doing it. Is because it's going to unlock the ability for double loot chance. It's going to unlock the ability to save a flower, which again is massively important when they're 600k each. And also the ability to get automatic looting as well. Now, this is a common requirement, which is why I've got 5k scarabs caught currently. But if you're fresh here and you've never done it before, definitely get to 2.5k before starting to deal with flowers of this expense. Now, I will warn you now, it is a little bit brutal of a hunter method. It's very click intensive. But if you're interested and you want to, it has got the profits here as well. So let's get started. So basically to do this, you need to handle your crocodile. And then basically all you do is just sort of point out the whirly gigs you want him to attack. And that's it. That's pretty much it. And then occasionally as well, he'll come and loot it and he'll come straight to your inbo as well. Now, once you've sort of picked out these whirly gigs and they've been looted into your inbo, you then have to grind him into the powder. Occasionally, your crocodile will come back to. Occasionally, your crocodile will come back to land and just sort of sit there. But you just want to make sure that you're trying to click as many as you can as quick as you can, just for your crocodile to catch them as well. So that's basically whirly gigs as a method. So to do this, we have trialed a sample of 100 roses. Now, roughly for an hour, you're going to need 270 roses to be able to optimize fully your catch rates for an hour. Now, that requires quite the investment. It actually requires the best part of 140 mil to invest. So to do that, we can do a little bit of a smaller sample size to show you guys roughly per hour what you're going to be making at the Dazzling Whirly Gigs. Now, the other ones do, still do make profit and the Powder of Burials is still pretty good. So I don't think the others quite hold a candle to the Dazzling ones. I think they really are the best profit. Don't get me wrong, they'll make a couple mil per hour. The best one really next is the gliding whirly gig, which is for the powder of protection. But also the speeding whirly gig will do powder burials. They're both roughly about 3.5 mil to 4 mil per hour. So you can see the powder of penance really blows it out of water. It's, uh, it's a lot more expensive. 
So once you've got these shells, that's what you grind into the powder. As you can see here, you can just grind them here. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a sample of 100 roses for your guys' entertainment. I'm going to hate my life because I despise this. After having to do 5,000 for the comp requirement, I pretty much hated it. So I had to do it in stints as well. Like to do this all in one go is brutal. So me and Cheeto will keep on going and we'll come back at the end of these 100 flowers. We'll be able to go through the profit and we'll really see if this method really is for 170 mil, which the wiki claims it is. So only two golden roses left. And the good thing is we've clearly made profit. For 100 roses, we're 165 shells, which I believe it's one for one, but we'll soon find out. Um, so we'll just finish till these roses are done. One thing I have noticed, once you get down to only a couple of roses um, or under 10, your spawns start to reduce. So always keep as many roses in the basket as you can and you've got a chance for more scarabs to appear. So we go, 167 scarabs, which are 512k each. We shall grind them and uh, we can price check them afterwards. Go to the Grand Exchange. Just check the margin and what I'll probably do is put them in for a slow overnight sell and then in the morning we can come and just round up the video and I don't have to sell them for a low price then and that can just mean we can do more profit. However, minimum profit from what I'm thinking, if they're roughly the same price what I bought the roses for, we're looking like 30, 35 mil easy. Um, so don't get me wrong, I think 170 mil is still a bit of a stretch, but I think this could easily be like 50 to 60 mil profit. But again, we'll wait for the Grand Exchange. My maths might be rubbish and uh, nowhere near where it needs to be. Um, the Grand Exchange will do all the talking and we'll see how we get from there. In terms of how long this took, I'm not too sure. I'd like to, I think it'd be about half hour um, because I used 100 roses and the wiki said per hour you can use um, roughly 270. So I'm going to say, look, um, 100 for me with how I was doing it is about right for half half the time. Um, it just gives time for some some flexibility as well. But if you're pretty much on it and you're really really quick and you're really like to the point, you could definitely like do 270 roses per hour and get way more profit than I did. So finally, crushing these down. Um, you also get some pieces of het as well. It is for something to do with this oasis. Never done it. Don't know. I just throw them in the bank. And then realize one day when I probably need to do something for trim comp or comp, if I ever do it, I might need it. So I just keep it. So yeah, just grinding the rest and uh, a nice, nice stack there as well. 160 powders, pretty decent. So there we go, 167. So rough price check, we are going to be at 103 mil, which I just want to go and check how much I bought the roses for, but this could be huge profit. Um, so I bought for 63 mil. Wow, that could be 40 mil. So, wow, maybe it can be. So what we're going to do first is just check the price. So going off that, if you could do 270 flowers an hour and you could be two and a half times like what I am, 100 mil could be possible, like really, really possible. And hopefully these are still trading quite high. 625 we will take 625 actually these could sell for mid okay maybe not but i'll leave those in the grand exchange overnight i'll come back and then uh, we'll wrap up the video and end it from there pleasantly and hugely surprised don't get me wrong the requirements to do it are pretty huge like to get 2.5k kills of whirly gigs is not an easy thing um both to do and also mentally because that is that is hard to be able to do that but in terms of a reward and how much profit it can make it's definitely worth doing it's definitely worth looking into as well um and those roses if you could go and get the roses yourself but also slow buy them for a decent price i had to buy my roses 100k over so if i was actually buying the roses for their actual ge price which is 530 it's just another 10 mil onto the profit per hour which yeah it's uh it's pleasantly surprised but um i'm gonna let them sell overnight i'll come back in the morning and we'll go through all the stuff as well with how much profit we have made so logging in and all of the powders have actually sold 102 mil that is sold for as well so if we look at the profit we bought all the roses for 63.1 mil we sold them for 104.5 so we made 41.4 mil in about 40 minutes ish again you can definitely do more it's, i didn't do a full hour it's probably 40 45 minutes that is unreal um don't get me wrong nowhere near the price which the wiki stated however i had to buy the roses higher than what the wiki stated but in terms of money maker that was mad and um i think if i ever need some gp that could definitely be somewhere i'm going to be doing to get some massive massive gains so really good method 
doesn't quite hit the heights of wiki states, but it blows pretty much most skilling methods out of the water. Like I said before though, make sure you've done 2.5k scarab kills for all the buffs and benefits, and also have the trapper outfit to give yourself the best chance of making the most profit possible. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have, please make sure to leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.